Iran is considering the acquisition of Chinese Chengdu J-10 CE fighter jets to rapidly replenish its outdated air force, following recent high-level defense talks in Beijing. The talks come as Iranian Defense Minister Aziz Nasrzadeh visited China, reportedly exploring the possibility of purchasing Chinese-made 4 plus generation J-10 CE jets, which have demonstrated strong regional performance in Pakistan's fleet, according to a post by the Russian Arms Telegram channel. Pakistan's use of the J-10CE, equipped with KLJ-7A ESA radar and PL-15 long-range air-to-air missiles, has reportedly delivered air superiority over Indian Rafale F-3 rupees, positioning the jet as a leading candidate for Iran's defense upgrade. While Iran previously announced a deal for Su-35 fighters from Russia, deliveries remain uncertain. In November 2023, a deputy defense minister claimed the Su-35 sale was finalized. A reported April 2024 order for 24 jets was later denied by Iranian state media. In January 2025, Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Commander Ali Shadmani confirmed that Su-35 had been purchased, but gave no details on delivery status or numbers. Russia's internal military needs amid tensions with NATO have reportedly slowed down potential transfers. These, J-10C, Chinese 4 plus generation fighters are considered by Tehran as the main contenders for the rapid replenishment of obsolete and partially destroyed ammunition. It is logical that deliveries of Su-35S with R-37M missiles may also continue, as per the Telegram post. According to the World Directory of Modern Military Warships, around 58% of Iran's air force comprises fighter aircraft. Many of these jets are decades old, including 63 F-4, 41 F-14, 35 F-5E, 23 Su-24 MK, 18 MiG-29A, 17 F-7, and 12 Mirage. Iran also operates smaller numbers of domestically built jets such as the Kosar, Azarash, and Seca, along with various trainer aircraft such as the Russian Yak-130. Despite maintaining one of the most complex fighters ever fielded, the U.S. built F-14 without foreign support for over 40 years. Iran's aging fleet is now vulnerable, particularly as U.S. and Israeli air forces have struck strategic targets in Iran. Defense analysts suggest that even a small number of modern, 4-plus generation, fighters could complicate Israeli air operations near Iran. Modern fighters operating near Iran's radar and air defense networks could use sensor fusion to enhance the effectiveness of surface-to-air missiles. Additionally, jets like the J-10C or Su-35 with longer-range missiles could pose threats to Israeli tankers, which are essential for long-range strike missions. Even if Israeli F-35 retain a technological edge, forcing them into air-to-air -air roles could dilute their ground attack capabilities. Analysts